Hello friends, welcome back to the new lecture of Atombal Engineering. In this particular, we are discussing currently a transmission system chapter and in that we are going to discuss about the clutch. Till now, we have seen various types of the clutch. In that, we have seen single, point, single plate clutch, multi plate clutch, then we have seen cone clutch. Now, we are going to see a next type of clutch that is what called as a centrifugal clutch. So, this particular figure will explain you what is centrifugal clutch. Basically, centrifugal clutch is most widely used for the all kind of the scooters and automatic transmission system where we don't require any kind of pedal for operation. So till now whatever clutch we have seen for that we required a pedal like single plate or multi plate clutch we have to press a pedal for disengaging the power whereas we have to release a pedal for <coughs> engagement of the clutch. In a centrifugal clutch such kind of pedal is not required it will be automatically engaging and disengaging according to the speed. So if speed goes to the higher side then it will go on engaging and if speed reduces it will be get disengaged. Now let's understand the construction of this particular centrifugal clutch. In this, you are finding this as a front view and this as a side view. In this side view, you can observe that there are two shaft. This particular shaft is called as a driven shaft, and this is called as a drive. Uh, this particular shaft is called as a driving shaft. So driving shaft is connected to the engine, as you are knowing, and driven shaft is connected to the gearbox. On the driving shaft, we have connected a spring and the various pads that is called as a clutch pads or clutch friction material this same figure if you compare with this you can see that this particular outer casing is having a shape like this circular one and in that we are having a central shaft this is a driven shaft which is present here and that will be observed as a circle in the front view these are four pads or four clutch plates or four parts on which friction material is connected. So this is a friction material what you are observing on every pad there is a friction material. So here is friction material, friction material and this friction material are connected to the driving shaft here you can go for the side view to the driving shaft these friction materials are connected by using the spring. So this spring will be observed in the front view as like this. So this spring connects the friction material and the driving shaft with each other this particular spring always avoid the contact of friction material and the driven shaft plate when when it is rotating with a certain limit certain speed what happens this will not come in contact with each other so if speed of that particular plate goes on increases then the centrifugal force is acting on these four parts one two three four part a centrifugal force will be acting that centrifugal force can be calculated by m r omega m is the mass r is the radius and omega is the angular velocity of that particular part now on this part we have connected a friction material currently the friction material is not contact with the circular peripheral part and hence the power will not be transmitted from a driving shaft to this particular part because there is no actual contact now this friction material whatever is used this friction material is made up of the uh, cork, cotton or leather etc which will have a high uh, coefficient of friction and when this will come in contact with this then and then only power will be transmitted. Now current position of this particular clutch is a disengaged position. Even though the driving shaft is rotating this is disengaged position and that's why the power will not be transmitted at the output because the speed of this particular shaft is less and as speed is less centrifugal force is less and as centrifugal force is less the movement of this particular part will be restricted when i go on increasing the speed of this particular driving shaft then what happens these parts and these four parts will start moving an outward against the spring force as it starts moving outward against the spring force one time will come that this particular friction material will come in contact with this peripheral part and as this come in contact with this because of friction material because of friction material the power will be transmitted from this part to this one and now along with this friction material this part will also start moving and as this part moving this is connected to the driven shaft and driven shaft will also go on increases so note that we have not used any kind of the lever 
but automatically by the sense of the speed if speed goes on increases the force goes on increases as force goes on increases movement of this will be outward and it will come in contact with this for disengaging also we are not having any kind of pedal but for disengagement a speed we have to reduce it. if speed goes on reduces the centrifugal force acting on this particular part will also goes on reduces and the spring force will be more and this part will be moving towards center breaking the contact between friction material and the plate and hence power will not be transmitted so automatically by the sense of speed if speed goes on increases this will be in contact with this one if speed goes on reduces this will be reducing this one so like this it will be working a centrifugal clutch as i told you already that this kind of the clutches are used in automatic transmission system where only accelerator and brake are used clutch pedal is not used clutch lever is not used so this is very handy and comfortable for riding of this particular system so this is all about centrifugal